Good Sunday morning, all my YouTube followers and fans. This is the day that the Lord has made. Let us rejoice and be glad in it. Amen. This is Minister Tremaine here, back at you with another inspirational video on this morning. Well, today's message is coming from Psalms uh, 8, and it says, O Lord, our Lord, how excellent is thy name and all the earth who has set thy glory above the heavens. Out of the mouth of the babes and suckling half those ordained strength because thine enemies that thou mightest steal the enemy and avenger. Amen. And I'll Read verse 3, it says, And I consider thy heavens, the work of thy fingers, and the moon, and the stars which thou hast ordained. Amen. We thank the Lord for the reading of his word on today. And today, I'm going to talk about we are chosen. We are chosen. Amen. We are chosen by the Son of God. Amen. It is God who chose us to be a part of him. Amen. You see, God sees our suffering and what we've been going through. He sees that we've been in pain. He sees that we've been going through trying to plan out our lives. And then all of a sudden, our plans get derailed. Then when that happens, we end up sad, wishing that thing would have just worked out and went our way. Wishing that you could stay with that girl that you love so much, that you met, you liked, Wishing you could stay with that man because he brings to you. Amen. Wishing that you could stay in this marriage because if things are going so good, but things seem like they're going chaotic. And all of a sudden, boom, this happens. Amen. And you wonder why that happens. Why does it happen? Well, you see, it could be because maybe our plans are far from God's plans. Or maybe it's not the right time. Or maybe it wasn't meant to be for you. Some of us are at jobs that we're so overwhelmed about. Amen. It feels like we are stuck. We are stuck in a rut. Well, I come here today to tell you that when God chooses us, amen, we are not stuck because I see people going through, dealing with trouble in lives. It's like, am I stuck in this? Well, I'm here today to let you know that there is good news, that you're not stuck. You're not even tied down to your situation because God comes to set us free from the yoke of bondage. Amen. And as we read today, Elijah looked around and there by his head was a cake of bread baked over hot coal. And speaking of some baked bread, some delicious, warm, garlic-flavored olive oil drizzled over the bread. A little cheese on a little Parmigiano Reggiano cheese on there. Serve alongside with some hot noodles. Sure does sound good. <laughs> in, a, okay. in a jar of water from God's will. <laughs> The man chosen by God ate and drank and then lay down again. 
once more the angel of the Lord returned and touched him and said, man chosen by God, get up and eat. Amen. For the journey is too much for you. So Elijah got up and ate and drank. He was strengthened by that food and traveled until he reached the mountain of God called Horeb. Amen. Some of us are laying in a in, 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 in an environment of chaos, in an environment of pain and depression and suffering. Amen. See, when God comes, he wants to set you free. He has chosen you to live in his ministry. When we are called into God's ministry, we are chosen. Amen. See, we don't have to live in pain and suffering no more. All we need to do is obey and listen to God. Amen. Obey and listen to him. Amen. You see, while hiding out in a cave, the night Elijah again prayed, I have been very zealous for the Lord. God Almighty. Amen. The Israelites have rejected your co covenant, break down the altars, and put prophets to death with the sword. I am the only one left. And now they're trying to kill them to kill me too. To help fear and complain by the chosen by God come to his spiritual synthesis. The voice of God said, go out and stand on the mountain. And the presence of God is about to pass by. Amen. I saw, I was watching a, a video, I think it's called Chosen. Where this man was suffering for 38 years. He was in pain. He was going through life. And Jesus came in. And asked him a question. Do you want to be healed? Amen. See God could be asking you. Do you want to be set free? Do you want to be delivered? Do you want to have a good life again? And that one question he, uh, Jesus asked. Do you want to be healed? And he obeyed. And Jesus told him, pick up your bed and walk and walk. He probably was wondering, but where am I going to go? You see, when God says something, all you need to do is just obey him. Don't worry about where I'm going. Don't worry about where I'm going to sleep. Don't worry about what people are going to say. Don't worry about if, 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 if you walk and then all your friends get mad at you and go to cussing you out and block you out. Let them block you out. Amen. If it's meant for you to walk away from a relationship, if it's meant for you to walk away from a marriage, if it's meant for you to walk away from toxic family members, amen. If God says, pick up your belongings and walk, then we got to walk. Amen. Just like Jesus told the man that was suffering for 38 years. Amen. Pick up your bed and walk. See, when we obey and listen, we escape a lot of things just like the man that was suffering for 38 years. He picked up his bed and he walked. He ain't coming back here because things are getting ready to shift. Amen. I'm here today to tell you that we are chosen 
in God's house. Amen. We are a chosen vessel in the covenant of the Lord. Amen. And I want to say this here. If you expect your walk, if you expect things to go well, if you expect things to go accordingly, then we must turn from anything that is not of God. We must turn away from false beliefs. We must turn away from our own beliefs, turn away from sin, turn away from the wrong people, turn away from negativity, turn away from the wrong places, and obey and listen to God. Amen. Because we are chosen. Amen. Oh Lord, our Lord, how excellent is thy name in all earth. Amen. May there be a blessing from the reading of his word. I thank you all for joining me in this video today and thanks you for subscribing to the channel. Uh, feel free to hit that subscribe button, turn on those notifications and and uh, and like, like the videos and everything. And I look out for more to come and more cooking videos will definitely be posted onto the channel as well. All right, well, that, that's all I have to say. <laughs> May the peace of God rule over your heart. May God bless you. Peace be unto you. Peace be with you. And may your day be blessed.